guys and welcome back to another Let's Play of Lumber Tycoon 2. So this is episode 4 and we are back with our trailer. So excited. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop this axe here. Okay and it's backspace to drop the axe. I'm just going to push it underneath the air out of the way and this one here we're going to do the same because I don't think I need to hold on to them okay now the reason I don't want to go up into the volcano just yet is well I haven't been up there in a long time and if I fall in then I am gonna lose everything that I'm holding here, including my axes. I fall into the lava, so that's why I haven't done that. So right now actually we might um no we'll go and get two more white trees and then we might go and get a cherry tree. I don't think I don't think the, I think the white trees are worth more but something different we will uh, do a cherry tree I think so we've got white tree there so we might go up a bit further up here to this level because there's a nice big white tree two big white trees right here where we need them. Choppity chop. Um, okay, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm just going to bring this up and I want to move this into there because it is right above the W pretty much and uh, that's what I'm used to having. Just going to put this over here. That is a nice big tree, and I'm going to go and chop this one down as well. Hopefully we can fit these two big beautiful trees into the area that we need. So the car and the trailer. This one's a little smaller. But it's still great. So I'm just going to chop this one up first. Remember chopping on the lines will split up all of the wood from that line through. So there's three cuts and one cut. Same with this, three cuts and one cut. should be pretty close right okay so we're gonna leave the big ones to go on top I don't know if they'll fit yes they will that's cool this should load up this trailer quite nicely actually doing a quick load now once we get the truck and the big trailer I'll show you how I load that up it's a lot different to how I load this stuff a lot different okay so I think there might be enough room to put that in the trailer as well we put it right here Now if we just do our wee thing 
on this wood it should all settle sort of settle down that'll sink down okay I know what's gonna happen with that piece of wood so I just want to try and I swap it over with this piece because it was so uh, long it'll fall out so it'll slide over the front or whatever anyway let's get on to this one so this is just the way I like to start out in the game is to play it safe get the white trees I mean you can only carry so much tree you could go for the lava wood which is located up on top of the mountain up there to the volcano but if you fall onto that lava you lose everything and then you gotta start again basically like you lose all your axes so I like to play it safe for a start and apart from that, the, the wood up there is too big to fit in the mill that I have at the moment. So you want to wait till you get the bigger mill. And to go from the silver one to the next size up is um, pretty stupid. You're better off to get another three grand and buy the bigger saw max too. It's not the biggest one, but I don't don't recommend buying the big big one. I think it is just a waste of money. Who wants to spend eighty seven thousand dollars on a sawmill that the uh, fifteen thousand dollar sawmill will do the same job? Or if you're worried about the long bits of wood, you can use two $15,000 sawmills, which is still cheaper than the, the 87000 And you can just glitch them together. Pretty easy to do. But uh, everyone's up to their own opinion on what to do there. I'm just going to leave those little bits of wood there and take these big ones because they are worth more we really want to get that one there in first where it's not gonna fall out pretty full right there now. Uh, we'll try and put a couple of these in the back here. Very stupid idea because it'll just fall out. Oh, I need to chop that.
There we go. That'll do. We've only left a few weed blocks. Okay, there we go. Now we're moving. As soon as I go down this hill, all of that wood's going to slide forward. So I'm just going to power on down here. Now if I release the power button, it will actually go faster, but I don't want to go faster. See how that wood's sliding forward? It's going to stop me from turning properly soon. Hopefully I don't smash into anybody else coming up. So far so good. Almost at the base. We are only 11 minutes in so we're doing pretty well. Okay. And that's what happens when you overshoot when you got an overloaded trailer. So that's probably why I don't use the trailer very often. But um, it's handy enough. Okay, so I'll just unload most of the stuff here off the trailer. is working very well. This conveyor is flowing. Okay. Another couple bits in the trail left. I think we're doing pretty well. You can hook more trailers on there, but even having one trailer on there is just a wee bit glitchy at times, so probably not the best thing to do. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to unhitch, I'm going to move that back, over and pull it over here, and then I'm going to jump up here, oh, one didn't plank. We're just gonna pop this in here like that. Hopefully that's gonna plank now. Yep. I'm just gonna move this you back. To here. And we're gonna carry on planking. So we'll just keep planking out these. Okay, someone's got a saw over there, which we will set one of them up at some point. And when I set it up, I'll set it up so it's already inside the uh, sawmill. So all I need to do is just put logs on the conveyor and they will, it's getting really slow for some reason, and they will automatically do their own thing. Just speeds up the process a lot.
So, I wonder how much we'll get for this. I'm thinking... We've got $76, so I'm thinking probably around the two grand plus. So, probably two and a half to three grand, I reckon, is what we're going to get for this lot. So, that's two trees. It's not bad going. Not bad going at all, I reckon. Okay, so I'm just going to use the truck. I'll do two trips. Only because otherwise I have to jump out of the. Uh, I have to jump out of the truck and empty the trailer, and I really can't be bothered. And I want to sort of keep it all in the video to be quick, so. Because right now it is almost half past three in the morning. And I am playing Lumber Tycoon. So that's one load, that'll do one load. Easy lumber once again because it's quick and easy. Now, I, I never used to think uh, a computer was any good for gaming as such, but after. Playing this on the computer, it was a lot easier for me to play it on the computer than it was to play it on the Xbox. And I was pretty good on the Xbox. So, so we're sitting at one, $1,633 right now. It's not bad going at all, really. I don't even think I'll fit all of this in this load. I'm hoping to. But it might not all fit. Some stacking going. I think I'm pushing it now. We can put a couple in the passenger seat. Um, enough room there. Jam that in there. Probably not. Get that one in there. I think it's all gonna fall off. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. That's alright. Not bad, but we've lost one piece. Okay, so drive into there again. Do this little trick. Seems to be quite fast. Okay, 
so I was right. We have made pretty much three and a half thousand dollars. So by the time we get this piece here, we'll sell this off. Okay. We would have made three and a half thousand dollars. go two trees three and a half thousand dollars for two white trees that's pretty good going well guys here we go two white trees um, three and a half thousand dollars I mean, what what more could you really need? Um, yeah, so that's that's it for this episode. We um, used the trailer. We got an extra tree, so one run, two trees. Um, next time we will go and get uh, a different tree and we'll see what we get for it okay guys thanks for watching and we'll see you next time bye